hi and welcome back to ask nk and in today's video we will be looking at some stuff that has been you know put into the content browser and we'll also be taking a look at the mocap things and features that they've added actually there's not features they're just a couple of things that they've added into the mocap section of uh, the content browser and that is what we're going to be looking at today so for us to actually start off i'm going to look at these things from different points of views the first one is we're going to look at the stuff that has been added into the content browser and we're going to decide if it is supposed to be in maya or if it's not supposed to be in maya okay so i'm going to start off by just simply saying if you have maya 2018.5 with the updates you don't need to come to or you don't need to have Maya 2019 for you to be able to, you know, follow up with this tutorial and or with this video to see what I'm talking about. But if you don't have that version of Maya that I've just mentioned, which is 2018.5, I would actually advise you to, you know, get Maya 2019 because honestly speaking, the viewport is great and it's it's working. So let's just get on with the video. So for us to assess this, I'm going to go over to the window menu, then go over to the general editor and simply open up the content browser. So if I open up the content browser from here, I'm just going to drag it over to this place so that you can see. All right. Okay, fine. All right. You're seeing some nice stuff. Eh? Okay, cool. I'm just dragging it over to this place. And for the features that have been added in the content browser is for example the people so if i click on the people now you're going you're going to see that we have one two three four different characters that exist here these characters by default are from the 3d render people.com and if you don't know who 3d or don't know what 3d render people.com is 3d rendering people are actually a 3d rendering uh website that offers 3d models um, ranging from static models to rig models that you can use for your project the mesh is extremely dense and you can see how how dense this is so but i would prefer if we can have something like this you know with a less dense um, a mesh and something that can be driven with displacement map or maybe normal maps i think for me that would be uh, how to go about this i'm also going to simply drag this and drop and let's just position this to the other side and you can tell they're actually high quality they look very uh photo scanned already by just looking at them you can you can tell they're extremely extremely high quality so if you press six on your keyboard they are going to, it's going to load up the texture so you can see okay they are very nice but what my what i would suggest is if they can create something like this with uh, less less um dense mesh you know maybe they perform some retopology on this stuff and you know use a displacement map to drive it or something like that that would be an okay for me but for this i don't think this belongs in maya you can have a countering opinion about what i'm saying so just take everything i'm going to say with a grain of salt but what i'm saying in essence is something like this seems to to be too dense so i don't believe i don't think it should live in this space i think this belongs to 3d apps like um 3D Studio Max, which is vastly known for doing some hard surface and architectural stuff. Also, this can also work properly if you can, if they can move it or attach something like this into the Revit family. So for those architects that make use of Revit, they can have uh, realistic stuff like this. Also, they can add this to 3D Studio Max, like I mentioned before. They can also add these features or something like this in Modbox, for example. Just saying. So just in case you need something like uh, some sort of base mesh to start off from something quite realistic to just have around your scene to populate your scene that would be extremely nice because i'm just thinking about this now and i'm saying if i have this and i'm trying to you know populate my scene with tons of characters like this how easy do i get this working for me so with this out of the way let's uh, also talk about the other new thing that has been added here. so the new uh, stuff that has been added here seems to be within the animation section of this uh, content browser so if you click on animation and click on motion capture and FBX you find out that we have a, a bigger library of FBX files or motion capture files previously this wasn't there previously we had about I think four or five I can't really place my hand on it but 
now we have a lot now we not so much but they are way better than what we had previously okay so in case you are more of a motion capture fan then there is something for you to play with there are also other web websites you can get motion capture files you can also try mixamo you can find motion capture files from there which you can play with but for this you can uh you know just simply open up your maya scene grab one of these out and you know play with it and see how it works for you so what we're going to do now is we're going to simply just click and drag and drop one into our scene just to confirm and see how it looks you know just to know if what the promise is what they gave us okay so with this in our scene i'm just going to uh okay even before pressing play you can automatically see that it has evaluated the entire scene and that simply gives us uh, a good idea that this would definitely play properly okay so this is definitely playing properly and this is a this is a good one okay so this is something this is something impressive something you can smile home for okay so yes this we need more of things like this to exist in Maya so if they can go ahead and make more of stuff more stuff like this to come into Maya things that you can just easily you know have and get your stuff working then I think some something like this is what's coming into the content browser for people that want to you know experiment and play with stuff another thing i'm particularly happy about that they also added into the content browser is the these rigged files from uh, 3d render people this is incredibly nice in the sense that once you click and drag one of them in so i'm just going to simply just click and drag this guy here okay you would notice automatically that it is a rigged file that already has the human ik attached to it so if you don't know what human ik is human ik is uh maya maya's default character rigging uh solution okay so it's the automatic rigging solution that exists in maya so you can just simply select the character and you know automatically make that character rigged without using any plugin or or third party applications like that maybe i'm going to make a video about that soon i don't know uh, if you need me to make a video about that that would be nice if you can put that in the comment section so for this character you can just simply you know select this uh, particular part of the character and you know position this character anyway or anyhow you want it and in case you don't know the human ik has been existing in maya for quite some time now and this is one of the things that would really really save you so much time just in case you want to get your stuff done another thing that i have come to notice is within the headspace here there is no controller for the eye which is understandable because most of the time you probably don't need all of this stuff especially if you just need to populate these uh, characters as crowd they are quite realistic and if you select the mesh you can see that the mesh is not so dense so i expect some mesh like this from the previous one which i talked about i expect some meshes like this from the previous one which i talked about and also you can go ahead and simply subdivide this and you can see directly in our scene we are not having any form of lag okay this is uh, incredibly nice i'm just going to go back to the previous state and if for example you want to see uh, this character interact with the other character or this character do one thing and the other character mimics it it's quite simple because since the both of them all have the human ik uh, thingy or they're all linked up to the human ik it's easy for you to just simply select the first character which is the uh, eric the, this character is called eric and then you can go ahead and select the second character and automatically eric is going to jump and i don't know if you guys notice that automatically this has loaded up so once i simply press play you can see the animation plays back entirely so this is a nice feature that i've seen that has made its way into maya 2019 and a lot of people may not be able to relate with something like this but if you're into mocap or into motion capture 
or you're into animations you probably might uh, need these characters to do one or two things so i would like to hear what your comments are and i would like to see what you think about this stuff do you think they should go ahead and you know increase uh, these things or do you think that they should add way more features we already talked about uh, the features the rant and the reactions in the previous video so you can go ahead and check it i'm going to put the link somewhere around you can look at those things and for the most part i understand the fuse that's going online about maya not being all that stuff but well there's one thing i would like everyone to take home and that is that maya has come a long way and all they're trying to do now is to make sure that every single thing that they have work I wouldn't like to mention names of applications that have been there for a long time that things are not working properly but at the end of the day i think it's way better for you to have less that is working than to have more that doesn't work so i would like to see what your comments are and i would also like to hear what your reactions are going to be about this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share this video with your friends i'll be making more videos so if you've not subscribed to this channel just simply subscribe and also turn on notifications so that you get updates immediately i push a new video out and until i see you guys next time peace